national award-winning interior designer, Patricia Davis Brown. And today I'm going to speak to you about mission versus shaker kitchen cabinets. I know a lot of people are confused about what the differences are because both lines are very simplistic in their styles. But let's look at this. Um, the Mission door style originated in the 1900s and it was, it was developed by artists that shied away from the ornate decadence of, of the time. And they were inspired by the plain furnishings that they found in the Franciscan uh, missions in California. This door style is very, very much represents that well, and it was made by an Amish company that I use called Dutch Made. The shaker door um, is, is very simplistic, but the differences between the two, you can see that the open grained wood of the oak really makes this stand out as, as mission. The shakers a little bit, they use the closed grain wood, comes in different finishes, but it lends itself to be a more of a transitional door. So just by doing something as simple as changing the hardware, it can take on a look of a contemporary piece. Or if you put a traditional piece with it, it can be a shaker. Now, the mission style is a little more rigid, but you can do something to, to, to shake that up a little bit, like we did here, by adding a framing bead and giving it a little bit of a fusion feel to it. Now, if you don't have it in your budget to redo your kitchens in these styles, but yet you're looking to have that feel, you can do that with open shelf units, these mission ones that I'm showing you here, um, that will help do that uh, just by pieces of furniture. Another good way to bring this style into an existing kitchen is by replacing the existing island with um, either a mission or a shaker look. And I recommend that if you're going to do this, that you use a distressed painted rub through finish. I'm Patricia Davis Brown, and I hope that these tips will help you when you're deciding on mission versus shaker kitchen cabinets. And for more interior design tips, please visit my blog, digthisdesign.net, a blog about all things design.